Good evening. <laughs> President Herway, Mrs. Herway, distinguished guests, members of the uh, executive board, uh, friends and colleagues, it is a pleasure on behalf of the Kansas Foundation of Dentistry for the Handicap and for the National Foundation of Dentistry for the Handicap that I bring you greetings and congratulations on your meeting and particularly for this event this evening. This is a very special night and I thank you all for allowing us to uh, give you some recognition for the people that have done outstanding work with our foundation this past year. In 1996, then president-elect of the KDA, Nevin Waters, learned about the fledgling donated dental services program in which dentists across the country on a state-by-state -state basis were reaching out with hand, heart, talent, treasure, and time to help disabled and elderly people who could not afford dental treatment nor could get public assistance for such treatment. Through Dr. Waters' efforts and the assistance of the Kansas Dental Association and the state of Kansas, the DDS program was born. Since that time, you, the dentist, the dental laboratories, the licensed, non-licensed dental team members have provided over, and listen to this, you have provided over $5,500,000 worth of donated dental services. <laughs> I might add that that is comprehensive dental care. That's not just emergency care. And that has been on a budget given to us by the state of Kansas less than $70,000 a year. And on a serious note, I would ask you that in the next few weeks, there may be the opportunity for you to contact those people that you know of political persuasion in the state of Kansas to let them know that for $70,000 a year, we've already this year in the first three quarters produced almost $600,000 worth of treatment. Where else can the state of Kansas get so much benefit, no fraud, no cost? I mean, it's you giving therapy. Pardon me for that little diversion, but uh, I feel strongly. You know, we have over approximately 354 participating dentists. The average case per dentist of completed case is $2,600. So those are big cases, and that includes the help of 115 dental laboratories. So first, I want to recognize everyone in the room that participates with the DDS program. If you would please stand. Don't be bashful. All of those people have a little lilac ribbon down at the bottom of their name tags. I'd also like for the uh, Kansas Foundation of Dentistry for the Handicapped board members that might be present, if they would stand. When these people, most of you, I'm preaching to the choir, but for the few of you who do not participate, when those board members ask you to participate, know that they have their heart in the right place as well. And now for special acknowledgement, I'd like for you to recognize Mrs. Jean Harper, who is the true heart of our organization. She is our coordinator in Topeka, and she is the one that makes first contact with all the patients we serve, and then she makes contact with your office. Jean, if you'd please stand. She would have to speak for more than five minutes. <laughs> what I do want to recognize are the people. Can you hear me if I talk loud? Yes. I want to recognize the people who have contributed a lot. And we, we have these really nice awards for people. And if it was the fault 
of your president that we didn't get the names out soon enough and there are a lot of the people who are recipient of these awards that couldn't attend tonight. But I want to read you their, their names and why they are acknowledged. First, for the largest number of cases completed this year. In the general practice category is Dr. Robert L. Meisner with five completed cases. In the specialist group, we had a tie, so we want to recognize both of them, Dr. Stephen Zeller with six cases and Dr. Thomas Schlugel with six, case, six cases. And nothing against them, but they're both oral surgeons. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you from Topeka who know Dr. Zeller, he and his wife also contributed an extra thousand dollars to our fund for laboratory expense. And Mrs. Zeller, I believe, also volunteers in the office to help Gene as well. So they are very dedicated people. For the, the doctor that contributed the most in completed cases from a dollar value is Dr. Michael Kahn, and he produced over $20,000 worth of donated services this last year. For the largest dental lab, or for the large dental labs, and I don't know how we make that distinction, but uh, the Heinemann and Associates Lab in Topeka, and I believe that Mr. Troy Anderson is present. Troy, if you We ask a lot of our laboratories, and particularly if you think about the cost of materials and metals and things that go into a lot of the work, we're very grateful. Troy, thank you on behalf of the foundation. We appreciate it. And we have a, another award for the small dental laboratory, which is Myron's Dental Laboratory. And I don't think we have a representative, correct? If not, I thank you all very, very much for allowing me the time. Thanks to the Kansas Dental Association for your support of this very worthwhile endeavor.